If you've ever wondered how to unleash the hidden potential of your car's engine, in this video we're going to explore everything about ECU remapping and delve into the different stages in great detail. What exactly is ECU remapping? ECU stands for Engine Control Unit and it's like the brain of your car. The stock ECU mapping is designed and programmed by the vehicle manufacturer to operate the engine efficiently under various conditions. It controls various aspects of the engine's performance, including air-fuel mixture, ignition timing, and turbo boost levels. It takes into account factors such as emissions compliance, fuel economy, and engine durability, while providing a balance of performance. While stock ECU mapping provides a safe and reliable driving experience, it may not deliver maximum performance potential. Manufacturers often leave some room for improvement to accommodate a wide range of driving conditions and fuel quality. Many car enthusiasts and tuners seek to modify or optimize their vehicle's performance. In such cases, custom ECU tuning or remapping can be performed to adjust parameters like air fuel mixture, ignition timing, and boost pressure. It involves modifying the software that governs these parameters, optimizing them for better performance or efficiency. Now that we have a basic understanding, let's dig deeper into the various stages of ECU remapping. There are typically three stages, each stage represents a different level of modification, so let's break them down. Stage 1 remapping is the entry point for most enthusiasts. It is the simplest remapping on offer, and stays within the car manufacturer's limits. This is the cheapest option also, and is a very popular way of making small adjustments to your car's performance. A Stage 1 remap is an optimization of the stock vehicle's parameters, unlocking the ECU to release the potential power the manufacturer has left on the table. On the whole, this can be done through the vehicle's OBD port. The technician will connect to your car and read the existing map data. They will then modify the map data to optimize the engine performance and upload it back to the ECU. Whilst retaining the vehicle's stock exhaust system, stock intake, stock air box, stock intercooler and stock catalytic converter. The remap TCU will adjust the fuel injection, ignition timing, and turbo boost pressure to deliver more power and torque. Turbo petrol and turbo diesel vehicles respond very well to this stage 1 remapping, and commonly show up to 40% increase in the torque and BHP outputs. And it also enhance fuel efficiency, as the engine becomes more efficient at burning fuel. Throttle response and drivability are often improved, making your car feel more responsive and enjoyable to drive. Stage 2 ECU tuning is a more advanced level of engine performance modification compared to Stage 1. This stage often involves more substantial hardware changes and modifications in addition to ECU remapping. Just like in Stage 1, Stage 2 tuning starts with custom ECU remapping. The ECU is reprogrammed to optimize various parameters, but this time more aggressive than Stage 1. And the hardware changes include, upgraded turbocharger, upgraded exhaust system, upgraded air intake, upgraded intercooler, and fuel system upgrades. Let's see everything. Performance Stage 2 Turbo. They are not factory installed, and are typically chosen as part of an extensive modification process. Stage 2 turbos often feature larger compressor and larger turbine wheels, as well as different housing designs, to optimize airflow and boost pressure. They are customized for higher performance, rather than emissions compliance. Upgraded exhaust system includes high flow catalytic converter, it reduces exhaust back pressure and has fewer restrictions than a normal catalytic converter, so that exhaust gases flow at an increased rate, which can improve horsepower and torque. Cat back exhaust, a cat back exhaust system replaces the stock exhaust system from the catalytic converter to the tailpipe with a less restrictive and larger diameter system. This improves exhaust flow, and can provide a noticeable increase in power and a more aggressive exhaust note. Performance Headers An exhaust header is an aftermarket exhaust manifold upgrade that reduces back pressure by making it easier for the engine to push exhaust gases out of the cylinders. Upgraded Air Intake 
A colder intake is usually an aftermarket assembly of parts, used to bring relatively cool air into a car's internal combustion engine. When you install a cold air intake, you move the air filter outside of the engine compartment using a pipe, so that cool air can be sucked into the engine for combustion. This cool air is denser with oxygen, which means there is more fuel for combustion and more power for your vehicle. Next upgraded intercooler, the intercooler's primary function is to cool down the compressed air from the turbocharger, before it enters the engine, increasing the air density, and allowing for more efficient combustion. By upgrading to a bigger turbocharger, more air is being compressed, which can result in higher intake temperatures. The use of a stage 2 intercooler with larger surface area and improved cooling capabilities can help mitigate the intake temperature and prevent heat soak. This in turn can improve the overall performance and power output of the engine. Next upgraded fuel system. This can include larger fuel injectors and high flow fuel pump to ensure proper fuel delivery for increased power. So, Stage 2 ECU tuning is a significant step up in terms of performance enhancement and hardware modifications, while maintaining reliability and compliance with local emissions regulations. Finally, we have Stage 3, the ultimate level of ECU remapping. This stage is for serious enthusiasts and performance junkies. Every Stage 3 remap is highly customized. Stage 3 includes significant engine modifications, such as forged pistons. Stock pistons are often made from cast aluminum, which may not handle the increased cylinder pressures and temperatures associated with high-performance applications. Forged pistons are stronger and more durable, making them ideal for Stage 3 tuning. Upgraded connecting rods. The connecting rods in the engine's bottom end may need upgrading to handle the increased power and torque. Forged steel or billet aluminum connecting rods are common choices. These stronger rods can prevent bending or breaking under high loads. Reinforced crankshaft. The crankshaft is another critical component that may require strengthening. Performance crankshafts are often forged or billet and are designed to handle the increased forces generated by the higher power levels. Stage 3 tuning may involve cylinder head modifications, such as porting and polishing, to improve airflow and combustion efficiency. This can lead to increased power and improved engine responsiveness. Upgrading the camshaft can have a significant impact on engine performance. A performance camshaft can provide a broader power urban, more aggressive throttle response, and improved top end power. Cooling system upgrades. High-performance engines generate more heat. Upgrading the cooling system with a larger radiator, high-flow water pump, and an oil cooler can help maintain optimal engine temperature and prevent overheating. Upgrading the suspension and brakes is essential when pursuing higher levels of performance in Stage 3 tuning. Upgrading to performance coil springs and shock absorbers can lower the vehicle's ride height, reduce body roll during cornering, and improve overall handling. Upgrading to high-performance wheels and tires designed for aggressive driving can further enhance grip and handling. Upgrading to high-performance brake pads provides better stopping power, reduced fade under heavy braking, and performance brake rotors are often slotted or drilled to dissipate heat more effectively and reduce brake fade. They can also be larger in diameter for improved braking leverage. This upgrades contribute to safety and driver confidence when pushing the vehicle to its limits. Stage 3 tuning often seen as an extension of Stage 2 tuning, incorporates additional internal engine upgrades and allows the maximum power in motorsports. And there you have it, the world of ECU remapping, laid out for you. Remember the TCU remapping is a powerful tool to enhance your car's performance, but it should be done responsibly and with consideration for your specific needs and goals. Whether you choose Stage 1, Stage 2 or Stage 3, make sure to work with a trusted tuning specialist who understands your car inside and out. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow G-heads. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting automotive content. Thank you.